I'm coming for all of you. for what you did to my family. Most people call me Eagle Bearer. The what? You heard me. It just... I've heard the stories we all have, but I never thought... I don't have time for stories. Right, right. It's these Malake Spartans. We desperately need to loosen their grip on this region. Will you help us? At the moment, I'm not a big fan of the Spartans. Or their friends. The Persians. You know. I know those Kert Spartans are richer than I've ever been, and should have run out of resources years ago. I was told to give you this. Uh huh. It seems we have common enemies. I can help you and your allies with your plan, but to do it we must kill the Spartan leader here in Messenia. What's so special about this particular Spartan? He is a butcher. He's killed more Athenians than anyone, and he takes joy in it, I tell you. We know his location. 
but my men and I haven't been able to get close to him. You'll find it easier with me around. There. That's his fleet. Oh, his fleet, you say?
That Spartan dog is just a memory now. You did it? The Spartan butcher was no match for me. Of course. So, about the letter you gave me? I'll need you to live up to your end of the bargain if you want the Persians out of Messenia. Uh, you can count on our help when you are ready. That's the meeting place. What do you know about this man in Amorgis' inner circle? Democratis. Drachmi is his weapon of choice. If we kill him, the Order's ability to influence the Greek world will be severely damaged. His death will bring us one step closer to Amorgis. To Elpidios. Drachmi can be as deadly as any other weapon. I should know. Enough of it can kill anyone. There's only one problem regarding Democratis. What's that? I don't know what it looks like. Then we'll have to listen closely when we approach. If anything goes wrong, remember, it's Democratis we're after. The order has arrived. You're late. We arrived precisely when we meant to. Remember, once Democratis shows himself, we kill him. Or we can kill everyone. I'm assuming you've brought what we need. About that, we're not sure we're giving you any more. You don't make that call! This is the way it's always worked. You provide the Drachmi, we have the weapons, the Spartans, and the war. You get what you want, we get what we want. Not anymore. You need to prove to the Order your worth. Oh! I know your entire organization have allowed themselves to be pinned and mounted by this Mistyos and his pet bird. Trigger this your final chance to do your duty. about what you're about to do. God strike you down, Democratis. God strike you down. You just keep paying, and we'll keep our end of the deal. This meeting is over. So we continue the arrangement? Democratis! That's him. That's Democratis.
Jesus, got him. Democrat Democratis is dead. They deserve to die for what they've done, Darius. Every last one of them. Alexios. They're between Elpidios and me. We've weakened the Order. Now what? Now we move on to the next part of the plan. We'll take the Order down under the cover of night. I have an Athenian general to speak with. I'll return to the Lumberyard to prepare our next steps. Bevel? It's not safe here. I was asked to pass this to you, Eagle Thunder, by a man in a mask. Bevel, you have to go. And don't speak to any more masked men, understand? It's not safe. Yeah, yes, Eagle Thunder. Man with a mask? Meet me at the graves in Epia. What is the order up to? Eagle Bearer, well met. I see you got my note. Hmm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. That could change. Hasty. No need to be hasty, Eagle Bearer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yeryis, the last Magi of the Order. I've been eager to meet you, Alexios. May I call you as such? I don't really care what you call me. Confident. I like that. Give me one good reason not to put my blade through your throat. Where is Amorgis? Where is my son? I have the answers you seek, Alexios. I know what happened in Ahea, in the village called Dime. Dime? What do you know? Tell me! I was there. Things are never what they seem. Your reality is limited to what you perceive. Ride with me. I've been wanting to speak to you. I'll show you how beautiful our world can be. Shall we? One wrong move. I understand. This way. Where are you taking me? Somewhere nice. I want to... I don't trust you. I followed your journey from the beginning. I've written quite a bit about you, actually. In fact, some of my most popular work is about the Eagle Bearer. In addition, I've heard of your tales from our friends. The cult? I didn't think the cult made friends. <laughs> Allies, then, if you prefer. the word of our doings, of our heroic deeds. Heroic? You call murdering innocents and burning villages heroic? Nero, the Order sees things from a broader perspective. We do not seek ephemeral peace. Our work is eternal. Malaka! Look around us. Such promise. You must be wondering why we hunt you, Ella. I've killed enough of you to have an idea. Oh, you're a force of nature, Alexios. Have you noticed? Danger is drawn to you like not just a battlefield. And so we simply cannot allow you to exist. You kill someone because of their blood? You disgust me. We are not the enemy. Have you considered yourself? In our eyes, you are the manifestation of turmoil, the disruptor of peace. Don't be so quick to judge, Alexis. There are many perspectives. Yeah! Come on, come on. You've arrived. Ah, oh, look at that view. Messinia. Quite a beauty, isn't she? Get to the point. I 
know what happened in Vimer. How Nima died. Are you brave enough to hear the truth? I want to know everything. We saw no one at the beach that day. No Nima, no child. They had escaped. Oh, so we thought. Until we heard a cry. It was coming from a ship, wrecked on the shore. The soft, but unmistakable cry of a child. Elpidios. There was nowhere to run. <gasps> Nima tried to resist, but it was futile. The baby was all that remained. I will find Amorgis! I'm sure he would expect you to try. What do you want from me? Our stories are written by a rare few who have the power to shape them. It's not every day I can speak to someone like you. There are no absolutes, Alexios. Not even with tainted ones. You are fireborn with the potential to destroy, but also to warm, to cast a light in the dark. The warmth you try to destroy! <laughs> People die, Alexios. Eventually, we'll all be forgotten, fading away like a distant dream. Our actions, however, if they're meaningful, will be remembered. Tell me, what do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered as someone who never backed down from a fight, even if the odds were against them. Insights. Such wonderful insight. Thank you. And now we must part. The question is, will you allow me to live with my life? Leave before I change my mind. Your baby, Elpidios, he is safe. That much I can tell you. <sighs> it was a pleasure to meet you, Alexios. The next time we meet will likely be the last. Nima, Elpidios, I'm sorry. Darius? We meet again, Eagle Bearer. Good, you're back. Now to set our plan in motion. We will set several fires. The smoke will force the Ilotis to flee and draw Amorgus's guards down from the mine. Striking at the heart of the enemy while minimizing the cost of innocent lives. A wise plan. I will see to it that my men light up the rest of the area. What happened? Nima died, protecting Elpidios. Someone from the Order wanted to meet with me. He was there, Darius. They found Nima in the shipwreck. She tried to fight them all. This was Nima's. I haven't had a chance to. I forgot I even took it. She's gone. She's really gone. And she's never coming back. I'll never forget her, Darius. I miss her. Even now. I miss her so much. We'll have time to grieve when this is over. Right now, we know Elpidios is alive. It's time to get him back. If Amorgus is here, Elpidios must be as well. Once we start, we can't go back. They will come at us with all they've got. It's 
time to attack. The price may be... everything. I know the price. Time to find the boy. It is. Where is Amorgus? The mines! But you'll never get around his defenses! I'll crush his defenses, and then I'll kill him! You're insane! Both of you! You're going to tell Amorgis that the Eagle Bearer, the 
great disruption of the Greek world is here at his door. You tell him I'm coming for him. For Elpidios! And I don't knock. I'll take care of the order guards. We meet again, Eagle Bearer. You know this can't end well, Geris. Just walk away. It's not that simple. Morgus has orders, and I have duties to fulfill. And I have no intention of walking away, Alexios. After all I've written about you, learned of your feats, I know I can't defeat you. Yet, I cannot simply stand aside. We both have our reasons. For me, it's Persia. Make it through me, and Amorgus awaits you in the temple. Morgis is using you! Don't be stupid! We don't have to fight! I do this of my own accord, and for my duty and devotion to Persia. The will of Amorgis has nothing to do with it. Your loyalty to your home and commander are admirable, Gergis. But the Order has no place in the Greek world. Everything the Order has done, everything I have done, has been in service of a cause greater than any individual's. So, all the deaths and suffering, that is justified. For the greater good, Alexios, all things are permitted. You just didn't have to do 